we currently see a man who was reduced, Job that is, to nothing <clears throat> by many standards. Sister Irene, he had it all. Great family, great wealth, great reputation. But at some point, he lost it all. And understand something, dear hearts, precious saints, that Job in this particular book writes in what's known as Hebrew poetic form. Hebrew poetic form. And in doing so, this book is a didactic book. And didactic simply means something meant to teach you. He writes in poetic form, and for most of us, not just poetic form, but prophetic form. Because he tells you, based on his life, that sometimes good things happen, well, bad things happen to good people. Amen. It does not matter the length or how big the Bible you tote or how many scriptures you can quote. If you keep on living, something bad is going to happen. You don't have to say a lot of amens on that, but I know I'm telling the truth. Many times, dear heart, <laughs> many times, Sister Hager, when bad things happen, when we lose what we love, we do one of two things. We either question Pastor Hager, I'm saying this for him right quick. We either question or we curse. Yes. Amen. 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 If you didn't like that, say a woman. You don't have to say amen. Just say amen. <laughs> we either question or we curse. If you are in traffic and somebody cuts you off, you're either going to question or you're going to curse. You're going to question like, what were they thinking? That's a question. Or you're going to curse, and I can't, I can't say what you uh, curse. <laughs> That's right. Because a lot of people do exactly what Brother Leon do. They curse, then they say, oh my God, Lord Jesus, thank you that I didn't do such and such and such. Even after they cursed. But what we understand that in life, point one on your sheet, in life, everybody Regardless of what side of the track you were born on, despite your economical status, everybody in life, when you lose it all, everybody is headed at some point to a jam. Everybody is headed at some point in this life. Because even, what, what was it Joel who said that man that's born of a woman is of a few days? And those few days are jammy or full of trouble. If you live life, you're going to have strife. So Job writes in this poetic form because many of the best poems or songs are written or birthed out of painful moments in our lives. So Job, and I showed you that the book of Job could possibly be one of the oldest books in the Bible because in Genesis, there's a guy in Genesis named Jobab, who many Bible scholars believe to actually be the short, ver the, the longer version of Job. So he writes many, many years ago to warn you to forewarn you that in this life, some of the most painful moments may be the moments that bless you and others the most. Uh, I believe.